I have a question for you, Max Kellerman. Um, I've never failed to give Bill Belichick credit in the past because I understand that being the head coach of an NFL team, there are so many other parts rather than just a quarterback position. I mean, he has such an incredible amount of responsibility to keep things in order the way that he has. Bill Belichick, no wonder he's recognized as the greatest in the game today. But are you going to sit here with a straight face and tell me that at no time in all these years that Tom Brady has been quarterback of the New England Patriots, there hasn't at least been some seasons where he even deserved more credit than Bill Belichick because of what he had to do and what Bill Belichick didn't do? To keep this in mind, Max Kellerman, it's not a rhetorical question. I want an answer from you. But the reason why I'm adding to it is because <laughs> Bill Belichick won championships as a defensive coordinator. There's been plenty of years where the New England Patriots weren't as what weren't what we thought they would be or should be from a formidable fashion defensively. There's been plenty of times we felt that way about New England, and it was the offense led by Tom Brady that carried the day. So are you going to sit here and say that every single year Bill Belichick has been more valuable to the success of the New England Patriots than Tom Brady? Yeah. Bill Belichick every single year is more valuable than Tom Brady. If I could get... Bill Belichick or Tom Brady, give me Bill Belichick. Easy. That's not even a difficult, difficult Every answer. Year. I'm just, yes, yes, every because, year. by the I, way, I, when I, they're not good defensively or great defensively, they're always good enough to make the playoffs, usually good enough to get the AFC championship game, and, like, half the time, good enough to get to the Super Bowl. Yeah, but that's so two what, different – but, Max, that, that's two different questions because I would pick Bill Belichick, too, if I had to pick between the two. But it doesn't negate the fact that what, since they've been together – there have been some years where one deserved more credit than the other, the even Belichick though you would always year. take the coach with the most responsibility. Max, I'm yes. saying I wouldn't take Bill Belichick every year. Where that line that. was makeshift, right? Where they had right. so many different line sure. combinations, they were decimated by injuries. I mean, from that standpoint, you got to give Brady well, well, I'm not credit arguing for making Brady's up for those not, sins. I'm not arguing Brady's not great. Stephen A., your argument seems to be that since Belichick's hallmark was defense because he was a D coordinator for championship teams for the Giants, then if the defense isn't great on the Patriots, that somehow reflects poorly on Belichick. What I'm saying is as head coach and GM, his responsibility changes. And if you have resources tied up, for example, in your franchise quarterback, which you should because he's the greatest ever in Brady, you will have fewer resources for your defense. If you, but they, hadn't if you had, have they didn't chance. have resources for Brady. But Other yeah, than Randy yeah. Moss, how many years were we crying about how they didn't have anybody elite on no, the offensive saying, side of the ball you, for Brady? If, we if were arguing for that for years. If you have a franchise quarterback, a lot of your offensive money is tied up in your offense to begin with, which is what you want. And if you have the right combination to have a great offense, that's where you devote resources, draft picks, etc. And you make do with what you can have on defense. If Belichick could have a lights-out defense and offense every year, he'd do that. But instead, his responsibility is to get to the Super Bowl, which he does better than anyone who ever lived.